Welcome to Insights into Teens, a podcast series exploring the issues and challenges of today's youth. Your hosts are Joseph and Madison Whalen, a father and daughter team making their way through the challenges of the teenage years. Welcome to episode one of Insights into Teens. This podcast is about hobbies. This is Joseph Whalen, your host, along with my co-host, Madison Whalen. Hi. So today we're going to be talking about hobbies. Yep. And prior to uh, the podcast, I went out and wanted to do a little bit of research just to uh, come up with some talking points. Alrighty. And uh, one of the things that I found that was interesting is that most of the data that's available on this subject um, did not include individuals under the age of 15. Really? Yeah, which I thought was kind of strange. Okay. There was always 15 or older or 18 or older or something like that, so it, it would seem that these polling places don't really care about the opinion of kids your age. Mm. So hopefully we can change that that approach with this podcast. Yeah. The other thing that I noticed was that most of the data that I found was lumped into very broad, you know, topics or subjects and didn't really go into much in the way of specifics. And it was pretty wide ranging, like, you know, it would be topics like reading or exercise or travel, you know, it wasn't anything specific. So as we have our discussion today, there are certain things we'll talk about here, but I'm interested in, in really understanding what what your hobbies are and what you enjoy doing in, in your free time. Mm-hmm. So, and then, we'll, and then we'll talk a little bit about how hobbies have changed, and we'll look at sort of... 30 or so years ago of what hobbies were like when I was your age and what those hobbies translate to today. Okay. Let's just start off with, you know, what hobbies are you interested in? What do you like to do? Well, one of the things is I can tell you a few things I like. I like Playing with my LPS and collecting some LPS, so, yeah. And LPS stands for Lola's Pet Shops, if anyone's heard of them. Okay, so I think I think that's a good place to start. Let's talk toys. Okay. Okay, so we'll categorize your LPS as toys. Okay. In addition to the LPS, what other toys do you like to play with? Well, I like to play with um, stuff that's Minecraft. And Spongebob related. Okay. So Minecraft... Minecraft kind of confuses things a little bit because Minecraft is a video game, but Minecraft also has toys outside the video game, correct? Yep. So what are some of the toys from Minecraft that you like? Well, if anyone has seen um, the characters with that are actual skins in Minecraft, I like playing with those because I have at least two of them. So, if you like playing with Minecraft toys, does that naturally translate into you liking Minecraft the video game as well? Well, yeah. Okay. So, sticking to the topic of toys, you mentioned with your LPS that you like to collect them. Yep. Explain the collectible aspect of LPS. Well, I mainly like to collect ones that are rare. Otherwise known as the five main LPS, which are short hair cats, cocker spaniels, dog pins, great danes, and collies. Okay, so they are what are considered rare in the lot then. Yeah, pretty much. So what makes them rare? Do they only make a certain number of them? Are there special features on them? Well, probably. They only make like probably a certain number of them which would probably make them rare, which make most things rare, so... So do you have any of these rare ones? Yeah, the only type of rare ones I don't have anymore are the Cocker Spaniels, but I have every other type of rare one. 
What, well, ha- what happened to the ones? Did you have those at one point? Well, yes, but I've traded them off for other LPS. So how do you typically get these rare LPS? I mean, you, I know you, LPS can be purchased through retail stores. Yeah. But do you go to conventions to find these rare ones? Do you well, order them online? I've learned to now order them online, but I used to go to conventions to get LPS. Are they are these like toy conventions that you go to? Yeah. Are there other things that they have at these toy conventions that you would buy? Funny thing is, I have I have to look at things very closely, and some things I do get interested in, others are not really that interested in. You play with the LPS too, I assume. Yep. What do you do with them? Well, I've kind of got like what I like to do is do um high school kind of thing. And what exactly does that mean? It basically means, like, you get a whole group of LPS and you have them go to high school. So you kind of do real-life scenarios with them using, acting it out through the toys. Yep. That's interesting. And it's strange to know that I give them names and I can completely remember what names they have. It's just weird like that. I can just, like, give one a name and then I can remember it and remember, like, Hey, this is your name. Like that. And that's got to be a lot of names for a lot of different LPS. Yeah. Wow, that's impressive. Mm-hmm. So, other toys that you play with. You said SpongeBob. Yep. You have a lot of SpongeBob toys? I at least have enough to where I can actually have a drawer where I put them. Okay. Now, with SpongeBob, when you're playing with the SpongeBob toys, are you playing out SpongeBob type episodes, or are you still doing a high school type thing, but with Spongebob? Well, I don't really do high school or Spongebob episodes. <clears throat> One of my favorite things to do is do, like, a superhero episode, because most of the toys I have are superhero themed. Okay. So is it sort of like you're making your own Spongebob episodes that don't exist with these toys? Pretty much, yeah. Okay. That's interesting. I mean, some of the toys do exist from the actual episodes, but I make my own episodes with them. Do you do anything, I don't know, unusual with them? What do you mean by that? Well, I know some kids make videos of LPS play sessions and stuff like that. Do you do anything like that with YouTube or anything? Well, some. Well, I haven't really posted anything on YouTube, <coughs> but I do make certain videos. I mean... I mean, I've tried making videos with LPS, and some, and I even do stop motion. Stop motion? Yep. Well, that's kind of cool. Yep. And basically, I have this app on my phone where I take pictures of LPS in certain positions, and when all the pictures are turned into a video, it looks like the LPS are actually moving without me using my hand, which was recommended by you. That's interesting. So that's kind of like the old claymation, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer type stuff. Yep. Besides toys, what other hobbies do you have? Well, I guess I do. I am sort of a gamer. Okay, what kind of games? Obviously Minecraft, but besides that, what else do you like? Well, there are certain Mario games I play. Like Mario Kart? Yeah, Mario Kart, Mario Odyssey. So, okay, so tell us about, if you're a gamer, what platforms do you play on? What game systems do you play on? Well, I have a Nintendo Switch, which I use for most of my games now. Okay. I also used to play it with my old lap games on my old laptop. Okay. And, um... Now, were they online games? Yeah. you played on that? Well, what do you mean by that? There are some games that are web-based games. Okay. And some games that you actually install on the computer to oh, play. Oh, I didn't actually install anything other than Minecraft on my computer. Okay. So So these were all like web-based type games. Pretty much, yeah. So what are some of the, your favorite video games that you play? Well, Minecraft being one. Right. I'm, I also do stuff on my phone. That there, There's this group of apps called Talking Tom and other animals. Okay. So what do you do with... These are on your phone, so they're touch interactive, I assume? Yep. And what do you do with these? What's the premise of the games? 
Well, basically, with at least four of the games I have, four out of six, they, it's basically like, they start off as a baby. You raise them, pretty much. Okay. Like, you feed them, put them to bed, take them to the bathroom, wash them, but, and with one of them, you brush their teeth. Oh, that sounds tedious. Tedious? What do you mean? Like, I have to do that in real life. Why would I want to do that in a game? It's easier in the game. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that helps. Yeah, and there's also, with some of the games, there's other stuff. Like what? Like with, um, with one of the newest additions that I got from the game, there is this plane where you play the games and you earn points to go on the plane, and you're able to get, like, all sorts of cool prizes. And What's the name of this game? Uh, Talking Tom 2. Oh, so it's a sequel to the original one, then? Pretty much. Now, the, the playing portion of the game itself, is that, like, a mini-game inside the game? Well, it's not like a mini-game. It's just like, well, you play mini-games to get points to um, fly the plane. I see. So we've talked about toys, and we've talked about video games. What else do you do? Do you do sports? No. How about reading? Do you like to read? Sometimes I read. I like to read comics. Okay. What kind of comics do you read? I mainly read SpongeBob comics, but I've also been into Teen Tiny um, comics. And where do you get your comics from? Um, a place called All Things Fun. They have all sorts of comics there, and we go um, every few months and... So you have your own comic book store then? Yeah. That's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. um, what about novels? Do you read novels? Well, only when I have to, normally. Wow, that's rough, really. Well, I have gotten into a series called the Warriors series after doing a novel inventory for school. So you had to read the original one for school, and then it got you interested in the series? Yep. Obviously, you have to read for school... Are they giving you different things to read for school now? Well, they allow you to choose your own book that's on your level. Okay. So there's no pre-assigned book. You basically are sent to the bookstore to buy your own book and read however you want. Yeah, but only in summer reading do they actually assign a book to you. I see. Well, that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. So what about listening to music? Um, well, I do like to listen to music. What kind of music do you listen to? Well, there's this game we used to play called Rock Band, and I like to listen to songs from there. So are they like modern songs, or are they classic old people songs like your mom and dad listen to? Yeah, pretty much. But there are some songs that I like from there. So it's old people music. That's great. Hey! So, in my research, I, uh... I listen to other music, though. So. Like what? Well, like, songs that are popular now. What do you like to listen to? Do you like Katy Perry? Do you like... Well, I don't really go by who makes them. I just really go by what songs I like. Like, um, I listen to songs from um, the movie Sing. Popular songs that they put into the movie itself. Well, yeah. Okay, well, that's fine. In doing my little bit of research, I came across a poll. Now, the poll was from 2015, so it's kind of old, but it was from uh, Nielsen, which is a very popular ratings and polling okay. company in the, in the United States. This was age 15 to 20. They were asked, uh, what hobbies were you most interested in? And I'm going to run down a couple of these with the percentages. I'd like you to comment on these when I'm, when I'm done. Okay. So, the most popular category was listening to music. 37% of those polled said they preferred listening to music. 27% said reading, which I thought was kind of unusual. I didn't think people that age were big into reading. 23% mm -hmm. said watching TV. Now, we haven't talked about that yet. Are you a TV watcher? Yep. Well, obviously you watch SpongeBob. What else do you watch? Well, I watch... Teen Titans Go. Okay. Well, I also watch, um, well, 
Um, You're I, killing me here. Oh my god, I watched Gravity Falls. <laughs> there we go. There you go. So the next one that they had at 19% was connect with family and friends. I guess what we're doing now is connecting with family and friends, but yeah. do you hang out with your friends from school? Well, sometimes I do. I mean, I invite them over to my house a few times since they have their numbers, so yeah. Do you do sleepovers? Do you do well, parties? I, well, I've done sleepovers and a couple parties, so yeah. Okay. Do you hang out with your friends and go out and play and stuff? Well, I normally just like, well, sometimes a few years ago I used to hang out with someone, and yeah. So, no for now is what you're saying. Yeah, no for now. We normally just stay in the borders of home. Of home. In the borders of home. Yes. Okay, rough neighborhood you live in, or? No, it's not a rough neighborhood. Actually, most of my friends are... My neighbors. And yet you don't hang out with them and play with them. Well, I do. Like, at school and stuff, I hang out and play with them. Because apparently it's too much of an effort to walk oh my. 100 feet to their house. Oh, <laughs> my. <laughs> anyway, moving on. So the next one that we have on the survey at 18% is exercise. What do you do for exercise? Well... You know, whenever you start with an answer like that, it usually means I don't do that particular activity. Well, sometimes, okay? Okay. Playing online games came in at 17%. Do you play online games? Well, there are games that I've downloaded that I've played. Okay, I'm not sure that qualifies as online. What do you mean by that? Online games would be going to a website and playing a game on a website. Yeah, that, I do that. Okay. Social media, 17% review social media. Do you do a lot of social media? Well, there's only one real thing that's social for me, but which is called Kids Messenger, where you have to, like, choose who you... Like, my mom chooses who I should talk to, and it's mainly my family members and a few friends that are on Messenger, so yeah. So you don't do Twitter, you don't do... um, Snapchat. Well, I do Snapchat. Okay. But I don't really post pictures. I just like to see the filters and take a few pictures. Do you do any kind of photo blogs or anything like that? What do you mean? Well, I don't know. Some people do, like, silly photo blogs of, like, their pets or toys or stuff like that. Well, my mom does have an Instagram account for my stuffed animal kitty. Okay. So that's that's Instagram that your kitty is on. Uh, so 16 was play video games, and I think this was what we were talking about before. You download it, or you play. So you play on the Switch, you play on your phone, you play on your laptop. Anything else you play on? Well, sometimes I use my TV to play games. Do you have any other gaming consoles, like an Xbox or a PlayStation? Well, I do have a few Xboxes around the house. And what do you play on those? Well, you and me both like to play Call of Duty because, and you nickname me Rambo. Right. Because why? Because you like to go crazy with the guns. Exactly. Yes, there's nothing wrong with with playing uh, Call of Duty as long as you realize that it is a video game. It's not real life, and I it's know. in your case, it's it serves as a very good stress reliever. Yep, because you know how much I have stress, especially on Mondays and the beginning of the week of school. Yes, and that's a whole another series of podcasts I'm sure we'll be doing. Yep. So at 14%, we had sports. And we tell us about your love of sports. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't really do a lot of sports. You don't go out and kick the ball around or have a catch or anything like that. Well, I used to like play with the ball with you, but now I mainly just stay in. Okay, well that's that's good. Twelve yeah. percent uh, said travel. Do you travel a lot? Yep. Where do you usually travel to? Normally Disney. Yeah, I know. We do that a lot. I know. Far more I mean, than we probably should. I mean, I, we have been to other places. I mean, we've been to California. We have to go to Disney. Yeah. I mean, really, that's really why we've been I there. Know. But we did go we to, pretended that it was oh, for my work. But we did go to Ohio. Right? Ohio, we did. That was for actually, actually for Daddy's Gaming Group. Yeah. We went to uh, Kings Island out there, as a matter of yeah, fact. Yeah, that was actually really fun. Except for that part where I had to go on the top of the Eiffel Tower. 
Yeah, you don't really like heights. So nope, not at all. That was pretty high. Oh, yeah. That's another topic we'll talk about fears. Fears, yes. We have lots of those. Yeah. So at 11%, we had shopping online. Do you shop online? Yep. What do you shop online for? Normally rare LPS. Rare LPS. Yep. And where would you buy those from? eBay. eBay. I mean, I've looked on Amazon a few times, but I really haven't been interested in too much. But I have been looking a little more on, on, it, on Amazon, and I might get stuff on Amazon and eBay, but I mainly shop on eBay. Okay. Good place to shop. Yep. 8% said they cook. Do you cook? Well, I don't really cook, but I do make my own breakfast sometimes. Okay. Actually, Is... every day I make my own breakfast, unless Mommy always goes and buys or get, makes my own breakfast. But I'm capable of making my own breakfast. That's that's good to know. Being self-sufficient is important. I can also, and, I can, and I can also make fruit salad, and I help you. Make, yummy, make, yummy. And I help you make cheesecake and cookies. Yep. We do love making cheesecake. And cookies. But we only do the cheesecake once a year. Yeah. And we do you help Mommy make things? Well, sometimes I do. Like what? Like, a few times I would ask her if I can help out with dinner, but normally I have homework I need to do, so I haven't done it recently. But I do like to help out around my kitchen, learn a few things. I mean, I can probably make a sandwich now. I mean... Well, anybody can make a sandwich. What are you... <laughs> Not a baby. I mean, not at least with using not a knife. A, not without making a mess, right? Yeah. Even though I still make a mess. All right. The last thing we had on the survey at a whopping 2% was gardening. Do you garden? Well, I used to. Okay. I used to help you my... You used to do a lot of things. You're only 12 <laughs> years old. Why'd you stop doing all these things? Well, we don't really garden anymore, remember? Well, I think that was because Mommy missed the planting season this time, and the garden needed a lot of work. Yeah, we used to plant tomatoes, watermelons, which were never successful, carrots, which were sometimes successful. And then the random squashes that would come up that we never planted, which was always a mystery. Yeah, because we probably threw away the squash in the garden and it started to grow for some reason. Are there any other hobbies that you're interested in that we haven't touched on yet? Well, I do like to collect um, pop toys. Pop toys. Yeah. And what are they? They're if you've ever seen one, they have like the big eyes, and they're a bunch of and they have a bunch of characters of them. Like if you've ever seen them in a little container, they have like black, big black eyes, and I've collected a few. Okay. What else do you collect? You seem to be a collector. Oh, I also collect Pusheen stuff. Pusheen. Yep. Okay. And what is Pusheen? Um, Pusheen is a gray cat with a little sister Stormy. Okay. What else do you collect? Don't they come in milk jugs? Oh, yeah. Um, Lost Kitties. Lost Kitties, right. You have a lot of those. Yep. Got a lot for Christmas this year. Yep. So, you collect a lot. Yep. Do you play with the things you collect? Well, I do. What else do you collect? I like to collect Legos. Legos. Well, I know you put all of mine together when I get Star Wars ones. So yeah, pretty stuff. much. Because <laughs> you can't stand having to do... I, I lack the dexterity to, to handle small parts like that, yes. Yep. But it turns out to be profitable for you, though, because you make money when you put them together for me. Pretty much. This last couple of minutes of the podcast, what I wanted to do was sort of Compare and contrast, like you had requested that we do. Okay. I got a couple of different categories. Those categories have things that I had when I was your age. So I'm going to list those things, and I want you to tell me what the contemporary version of that is today. Alrighty, so like list an item, and then I'll tell you probably the contemporary version of it? Yes. Okay. So, when I was a kid, video games were in their infancy. So for video games, we had an Atari 2600. Okay. We had Intellivision, which was the sophisticated video game. We had ColecoVision. And then in 1985, centuries ago, the big revolution that kicked off the current video game industry happened, and that was the Nintendo Entertainment System. And that was the first chance you had of... 
taking what you found in the arcade and bringing it to your house. It was that high quality. Mm. So what is the video games of choice today? Well, we have advanced arcade games. We have now a virtual reality. Okay. At um, one of the places we go where you can eat your lunch and then... Well, I'll just um, talk to you about what's the... What's the the pinnacle of video games in your home? Probably the Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switch. And what's so unique or special about that? Well, the Nintendo Switch is basically a game console where there are two little controllers on the end. You can slide them in and you can do all sorts of stuff. If you have your own television, you can put the um, actual uh, screen in there. Uh And then you can play it on your TV with the two little controllers. You can even make your own actual controller, you know, like the regular controllers. You can put them in, like, a place for both of them to have, like, an actual controller. So it's kind of like a transformer of a video game system. Yeah, there's also, like, a little wheel in case you were playing a racing game and you were able to actually steer a wheel. Very cool. And you and with only two sets, you can have four players. Okay. So, so we talked about toys already, the kind of toys that you play with. So I'm going to go down a list of toys that are in three different categories. They're either general, that anyone would play with, then you have boys' toys and girls' toys. Okay. So So for general, we had what is really on a rebound now, the Rubik's Cube. Oh, yeah. That was huge. Um, We had Smurfs. Smurfs, because the TV show was on at the time, the toys were, were huge. And we had Garbage Pail Kids. They were a collectible card system that you had. And if you ask Mommy, Mommy has, like, every one of them from the original set still preserved. Oh, my God. So, in the boy side, we had G.I. Joe. This is the small ones, not the not the big uh, 12-inch ones. We had Transformers, which, thanks to the series of Michael Bay movies, are making a comeback. We had GoBots, which was kind of like a cheaper version of Transformers. We had, of course, Star Wars, because Return of the Jedi came out in... Uh, Empire Strikes Back came out in 80, Return of the Jedi came out in 83. And we had He-Man, which has gone through a couple of iterations since then. On the girl side, which is where I want to get your take from, we had My Little Pony, which is still around today. We had Cabbage Patch Kids, which had a resurgence. They were crazy. Mommy can tell you about Cabbage Patch Kids. We had Care Bears who had their own TV show. We had Strawberry Shortcake. You've heard of Strawberry Shortcake, right? And we had Easy Bake Ovens. Back then, they were only for girls. Now they make Easy Bake Ovens for boys. Oh, boy. So that's what the toys were like back in my day. So what, I mean, we talked about some of the toys that you play with now. Um, Any of these toys sound familiar to you at all? Well, I know about the My Little Pony, because, like, every time I look for LPS, there's always a My Little Pony right next to it. Yeah. Like, My Little Pony's, like, right next to it, so, yeah. <laughs> um, Cabbage Patch Kids, I've heard of them, but they're not really popular anymore. Okay. Um, and, uh, uh what were the other ones? Well, you had, uh, Care Bears. Well, I think I might know what they are. Are they, like... Different colored bears from a TV show that, um... Yes, they were. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I know what they are, but they're probably more for younger girls now, because I don't really know if anyone my age is actually into them. Okay, fair enough. So, yeah. So, the next category is electronics. And at oh. the very top of the electronics list is one that you're kind of familiar with, mm-hmm. and that's Nintendo. They had the Game Boy. That was the first portable gaming system that you could use cartridges in. That was revolutionary, but it was black and white at the time. So it was a little tiny black and white screen. Mommy can tell you about that, too. Our portable music came in the form of a Sony Walkman. They didn't have iPods or smartphones or anything like that. Uh, They came out with the compact disc in 1982. That was the first music on a digitized disc. 1980s, it started out with the computer revolution with the IBM PC, the Commodore 64, the Apple Macintosh. What are are the popular computers that you have today? 
Well, probably Apple is one of the most popular computers, which you have a few. Right. Which we're not recording this podcast on. We're recording it on an HP today. Yeah, and HPs are... I think HPs are good. I mean, I have a Lenovo, right? Lenovo. Lenovo. You have a Lenovo, yeah. Um, and Lenovo's are pretty good as well. So. They are pretty good. So that's just sort of but, a contrast so. as to what we had back then to the now. Did you have any closing remarks or anything on hobbies for today's podcast? I don't know. I mean, I'm just going to say that I'm a collector of all sorts of things, and that's pretty much my hobby. I also play with all the things I have, and some of the things I just have because I think they're cool. Okay. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate your time today, and I think that's going to do it for Insights into Teens, Episode 1. Bye. Bye.